the huntsman and the huntress. No match for the beast. Our hero thought but a treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark she went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which she herself fed. I admit, it isn't my primary interest, not by any stretch. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Decorum, Carlac. A modicum, I beg of you. Especially considering what awaits you. It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering. But I can... Set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. There is a stage down in the dark, upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. I'd rather you stick to my script, but you do have an unfortunate tendency to improvise. You have it in you to author a thrilling finale if... if you heed this warning. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Wait. Before you go, I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some wounds into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter? A warning? Or a deed of ownership? I can give you all the gory details, and I will. Once the beast that lurks below is vanquished and sent back to the hells. Then we have an understanding. I look forward to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I'd trust a devil over a vampire any day. I think he likes us. A 
fret not. My soul is quite safe. I am not about to swap one master for another. Even though he's using me, I'm using him too. What do I care about this orphan's life? Fresh entertainment. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? You've got the stench of the hells about you. The stench of home. And a whiff of the surface besides. A servant of Zarya, if I'm not mistaken. I'd know the stench of her infernal machinery anywhere. You trying to borrow back home, little rabbit? <sighs> Something tells me you aren't going anywhere at all. You must know it too, reeking of fear as you do. There's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael! I can smell him all over you. Where is he? That perfume trickster swindled me, trapped me! Where is he? Spit it out. Now! What are you doing? The devil told us to kill this thing, so let's stop chatting and kill it! Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that came here, not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Raphael is no foolish story devil. His mind is... different. Sneaky. Listen. <sighs> Spill all the blood swarm to the night. Silence. Or prayers smother each right. Wonder shah's halls, hungry to slay. Leave no justice here, alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Ah! Well, that explains where all the dark justicias went. That's it. So he's the one who slaughtered the justicias. Can we kill him now? Because if he doesn't die, then Raphael won't tell me a damn thing about my scars. been some time since I had an audience. Any who hear it tend to die. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. Every drop of dark justicia blood that there was to spill. Did you think you can do better? Go on then. I'll enjoy watching you fail. But try to run, and you will regret it. A 
may be trapped here, but I'm not without friends. If you break your word, they'll hunt you down and make your final moments a symphony of agony. I hope you're not serious about helping that Hell's Beast. We made a deal with Raphael. His destruction for the secrets written on my back. All right, if you say so. Supposed to be searching these ruins, little rabbit. Given up already? <sighs> Can we please kill it this time? Back in my sails. Huh. This temple certainly is grand. Uh, well, it's a rundown bearing the weight of centuries sort of grand, which is my favorite kind, incidentally. <laughs> the Orphon is nothing. I'll have my satisfaction when Raphael makes good on his word. For helping me, it was very kind. On it. Do you know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane of existence? It returns to the hell to the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my House of Hope. He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses, so instead, I am re-educating him. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. I'd appreciate a little less enthusiasm when it comes to Cazador and his horrors. Oh, come, Astarion. We're about to unveil your destiny. You should be quivering in anticipation. Carved into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite of profane ascension. It promises to be a marvelous ceremony, very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. 
All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him, and unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. But the ritual has its price. As all worthwhile things do, Lord Cazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn, if he is to ascend. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is a star. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Cazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. I was contemplating. It's a lot to take in. What do you think I should do? I hate how right you are. I knew he wouldn't leave me alone even when I was just another wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. I need to take the fight to him. And I need you to help me. Thank you. She leered at me. The blood merchant. I can't get it out of my head. I did what I always did. I let her use me. Why does it feel different to all the other times then? Yes. I think something is wrong. There's nothing more desirable in the world than a vampire, is there? <laughs> How many been through all I have? You damn well are going to fight with what few assets the gods give you! But a part of me feels sick when I think about getting on my back for breadcrumbs again. All the promiscuous jibes paint a picture of someone who had relished the deed. <laughs> you couldn't really have known. I had nothing at all for so long. Not even my body. That was owned by Cazador. To be sent out to tempt fools into his palace. I have bedded thousands of people. Half of them I barely remember. Most of them didn't even grant me temporary bliss. I thought it would be nothing at all to sell myself to that drow's fantasies. But the price was higher than I imagined. I don't want to do it again. Well, perhaps I should see it that way, after all. It isn't humiliating to use myself as a weapon. It's degrading that people like her fall for it. Over and over again. Charm is just another spell we cast. <laughs> 